Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools invites you to the graduation ceremony. Performance Learning Center, Class of 2020. Good evening. Today is our day, fellow classmates of 2020. I am Lewis Baker, a proud senior of PLC. It is an honor and privilege to welcome our distinguished guests, parents, family members, friends, and viewing audience. Thank you for participating in this special celebration to reward and accumulate our academic achievements. We sincerely appreciate your love and support. Again, welcome to our graduation ceremony for Performance Learning Center 2020. Hello fellow graduates, teachers, staff, and families. It is an honor to be here today. Graduation is a wonderful occasion, so congratulations class of 2020. Like the other graduates, I am sad that I cannot see my classmates and everyone from former Learning Center High School at this ceremony, but I am thankful that we have wonderful memories to cherish for the rest of our life. Even though the coronavirus is not, is not what we expected, we are grateful to everyone at PLC who worked diligently to ensure we would experience the joy of this accomplishment. Personally, I want to give an extra special thank you to Ms. Moore, our counselor, for providing me with academic and emotional support. I also want to thank my dad for trying his best as a single father. Every day in the midst of his busy schedule, my dad woke up at 6 a.m. every morning to drive me and my sister to different high schools. During my high school years, I learned a lot about myself. I learned that I'm an introvert and that it takes me a while to get comfortable with someone. In 10th grade, I began to hate myself for being me because I struggled a lot with talking to people. At my youth group, I was gossiped about and was told I was weird. And even some students at school thought I hated talking and would sit away from me. I compared myself a lot to my peers and wondered, why am I not like them? I was depressed with myself as my social anxiety consumed me. One day, I finally spoke to Ms. Moore, the counselor, and as time went by, I began to receive more support from PLC staff. My dad also helped me get a therapist. I then began to learn about the good qualities about me. I learned that I am more observant than most, and I realized that I have an inner world of thoughts and ideas. Even though I still struggle, I am proud of how much I've improved in loving myself. As I stand here today, I still cannot believe that I am finally finished with high school. I will miss my time at PLC. I will miss all the good mornings and hellos from the staff and my classmates. I'm glad my classmates made an effort to have a conversation with me. I'm glad I have made some friends. I'm happy that for the first time, I feel like I belong. I will always cherish the memories I had at PLC. However, my story doesn't end here, and neither does yours, class of 2020. I hope you all will love yourself and be proud of who you are. Let's all feel good about the things that make us unique and feel proud of how far we've come. Remember, you matter. Thank you and best wishes. As I stand before you here today, I'm the first to readily acknowledge that I don't know all of you. That while some of us met in gym class or in passing in the, through the hallways, I've never had the pleasure of hearing your full story. But to those that would conclude from this truth a lack of commonality, I'd like to point something out. Each and every one of us sitting here today on the cusp of our graduation made a choice to be here. Performance Learning Center isn't any of our home schools. We decided to join the PLC family and in doing so define our high school experience differently than many of our peers. Furthermore, I can guarantee that no one, whether in this audience or in our community, about to graduate or having graduated 40 years prior, is the person they thought they'd be at 14 or got here on the path they envisioned themselves taking. I personally dreamt of being an Olympic figure skater since the age of seven. I spent my mornings of my childhood at a frigid ice rink, practicing and believing in a dream that ultimately didn't come to fruition. But that dream is what led me to this school. I had hoped to spend my high school days skating and studying here, but ultimately I didn't have what it took to be a figure skater at that level. While not all dreams come true, that's not a bad thing. Endings are often new beginnings. So while my figure skating aspirations may have come to a close, I was given the opportunity here at this school to discover my true passions. I was exposed to engineering, a subject I never imagined myself participating in, let alone pursuing. And yet here I am, ready to study engineering at NC State. 
Ultimately, I'm not the person I thought I'd be. I'm not even the person I'd hoped I'd be. But do not look to your childhood self for approval. We are the people we are today. Be proud of who you are now and what you've accomplished. Don't look back and wonder what could have been. You are this person right now, here in this moment. Embrace it. The only time you can stop and look back is to acknowledge the people that helped you get there. In my case, I'd personally like to thank my family, my friends, and the administration here at PLC, especially Ms. Sharp, Mr. Conyers, Ms. Monroe, and Ms. Moore, who all walked me through navigating my unorthodox journey here the last four years. And yet I urge you to remember that while we are a testament to the efforts of those that helped shape us, we are our own people. We are here to rectify the wrongs in the world, whether it's by shaping the next generation as an educator or parent, or by inventing and creating. We can even do both. And while 2020 may not have begun the way we'd hoped or expected, and by that I'm referring to the fact that we're literally live streaming our graduation due to a pandemic, do not lose sight of your goals and aspirations, no matter the adversity. And even more pertinent to me personally, do not be afraid to admit that you may not know what those are. We owe it to ourselves to take the time to discover what we really want to do and be. And so on that note, I challenge you all to appreciate the person you are today, trials, tribulations, and uncertainty included, but also to believe in the person you have yet to become. Congratulations, class of 2020. It is my honor for me to welcome scholars, parents, family members, faculty, and members of the school board to our virtual graduation. Before I present my remarks, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the committed faculty and staff for their work with our scholars and their families. Thank you for being committed to the success of every scholar and continued efforts to take a personal interest in each of the scholar academic and social development. Today we pause to celebrate the past 12 years of our life. All that you have achieved and learned culminates in this one special event. Graduation is not the end, but the beginning. The past 12 years seems like a mere blink of an eye compared to the great future that lies ahead. Scholars, today is here, but tomorrow awaits your arrival. You have so much to offer the world. So I challenge you today to go forth and take your place. Our world needs you. It needs your brilliant mind, your resilient tenacity, your caring heart, your passion, and thoughtfulness of others. Always walk and lead with grace and humility. Use along with, the, uh, use along with your education you acquired and the skills that you perfected to make humanity that much better. At PLC, we are known in part by a mascot, the Phoenix. The Phoenix is the ultimate symbol of strength and renewal. As both the fire and the solar symbol, the Phoenix animal guide a symbolic to, of the sun which dies in the setting of each night only to be reborn by the rising the next morning. You will soon find that life may sometimes throw you a bad hand. It may throw you a curveball. There may be many times in life that present challenges which may cause you to have to stretch. But I charge you today that when these things happen, reflect on the skills and the many life lessons that you have learned at PLC and rise above. You are a phoenix, which means it does not matter what challenges may come your way, you will rise above them to meet success. Malcolm X once stated, education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. Congratulations to each of you for your outstanding academic accomplishment. You have your passport for the future. Remember that like faith, a great education is empty if it does not affect the way we live our lives. Never forget that you matter. And now join us in recognition of the senior class of the Performance Learning Center. Precious Alexander, Juan Alvarez Castan, Brizia Ashton Avery, Lewis Freeman Baker, 
Kimaron Santario Berry. Randy Ramon Berry. James Tobias Boggs. Kamaya Harmony Booker. Ashanti Shade Brown. Jaquela Leonia Kerlock. Francisca Lucia Cortez. Sophia Lorraine Cunningham. Amazing Napora Fleming. Christian Garcia Nolasco. Jada Christiana Gladden. Alicia Melinda Grant. Jasmine Hernandez Aguilar. Luis Humberto Hernandez. Whitman Colm Huntley. Ayana Armani Jackson. Joshua Christopher Kelly. Monasia Simone Lee. Justin Delane Little. Ashley Giselle Lorenzo Ramirez. Alicia Crystal Lynn McCauley. Vivian Gwen. Amaris Vianney Orozco Corona. Cassidy Marie Petrikowski. Quentin Lamar Singletary. Lauren Forbes Spinelli. Alina Monet Stitt. Leonje Kamaria Stitt. Raven Danielle White. Todd Jeremiah White. Desiree Sherelle Williams. Omari Nicole Wilson. Adeya Razim Leela Young. Graduates, please rise by the authority vested in me as the principal of the Performance Learning Center and the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction and the Charlotte Mecklenburg Board of Education, I pronounce you graduates of the Performance Learning Center Class of 2020. You may turn your tassel.